Nuvolet is going to be coming into Genshin Impact very soon once more for a reef and this is what you need to know. For Nuvolet, your talents are going to be very simple. You want to level everything because they're pretty much all important. Mainly your normal, you know, your normal attacks should be the most leveled but everything else should be leveled as well. They are just as important. Now if you want me to explain this kit real quick, all you need to know is that the more reactions you have, the more damage you do with your charge attack which is basically where all your damage comes from. And you can also get a bunch of hydro damage bonus for the more amount of HP you have above 30%. So you need to keep that in mind as well. And you get a little bit faster in water. As I said before, you get most of the damage from your charge attack. This is a massive AOE you deal and you do a lot of damage too. And if Nubulet is above percent HP, he will continuously lose HP while using this attack. This is kind of perfect for what he needs to do. Right, so Nuvolet has this thing where he decreases HP percentage. Thanks to that, this piece of this four piece set is so easy to get. You get a maximum of three stacks, which means you'll always have 30%, 36% of your crit. Super, super easy. Now, if you look at this, that means that I will have a 70.6% to my crit rate and 189 to my critical damage. So using prototype amber. So that should tell you something. This is a massive thing to have the Marshall say set. Now, speaking of the prototype member, it's going to be a pretty decent four star weapon if you don't have different four star weapons like the Sacrificial Jade. I wouldn't recommend the Solar Pearl though because you're not going to be using your other elemental skill elemental burst as much as you would charge attack. Even though this would be kind of okay, but you want that Sacrificial Jade. Now for the five star weapon, obviously his best in slot would be, you know, the Tome. I, if you don't have that, but with a prototype armor, it's actually not a bad choice. You can also heal yourself. So that is also really, really nice. And your entire team. Now back to the artifacts. This is going to be really easy. Now, what do you want your substats to be? Is what you want your main stat to be on your circle list. It's crit damage. On your goblet, you want higher damage bonus. On your hands, you want HP percentage. Now for the circlet, if you don't have crit damage, you can go for crit rate, obviously. But I really, really recommend going for crit damage because it's so easy to get crit rate thanks to the Marley Shall Say set. And for the substats, you really want to focus on these few things. You want to go for crit damage and a lot of it too. The more crit damage you have, the better because crit rate is so easy to get on the set. So mainly focus on that. And then you can focus on HP percentage. So you can focus on crit damage, crit rate, and then HP percentage and then energy recharge. Now his C1 is really influential in terms of him actually being able to resist more stuff while doing his charge attack. This isn't that great. I would recommend just having a shape character instead, but you could, you know, try to get this and it, it could give you a lot of benefit, but it won't do you much. E2 is actually really good. This will increase your crit damage of your charge attack by 14%, which is really good, but you can get a bunch of stacks the more stacks you have, the better. You can get 42% this way. So there are a bunch of Nuvolet themes, and I have a favorite one, which is going to be a Hyper Bloom with Nahida, Kaza, and Kuki Shinobu. This is the main one that most people use, because this actually gives you a bunch of reactions, and not to mention, this also gives you the maximum buff that you need with the Hyper Bloom, and gives you 160% more charge attack damage. Which is very nice. You could also run Vaporize with the likes of Shangling, or Electric Charge with Fischl or Yaimiko, or any other type of team would be pretty good. Now, the team I also like would be using Furina to get the most amount of damage for your Nuvolet. You can have Kazo in there, and then a healer. If you want, you could, that healer could be Dendro, or maybe Yao Yao. Uh, Baiju would be amazing, actually. You can get a shield for interrupting resistance as well as you can get that nice juicy feel. Yeah, there are a bunch of teams for your Nivellet, but what you need to know is that he is he can be fit in most teams, right? The only thing is that he has to be on field, which makes him the only DPS character that you're going to be using. That is pretty much it. It's pretty easy, you know, pretty simple. That is all you need to know for your future Nivellet. Let me know, are you guys going to be pulling on Nivellet or have you pulled on Chiori? Uh, just let me know in the comment section down below. Maybe you're saving for all the Chino. Let me know.